Hi folks, there's that contentious issue between Japan and Korea, the comfort woman issue. And I posted videos recently in reference to the issue because I'm annoyed that the South Koreans are littering these United States of America with memorials and plaques dedicated to the comfort woman issue critical of Japan. And the reason why it annoys me is that dragging the United States into this conflict between the two of them of world wars. Well recently a gentleman from Scotland, that's him kids, born and raised in Scotland, way over there in the United Kingdom, he alerted me to a gentleman in Japan, well, to a person in Japan, a Japanese person who was part of the Japanese Imperial Army and stationed in Korea during World War II. And this person in the Japanese Imperial Army, his name is C.G. Yoshida, and I'm sure I butchered his name. Guess what, kids? I do not care that I butchered his name. Not out of disrespect for the Japanese people, but out of disrespect towards communism. You see, this member of the Japanese Imperial Army who served during World War II in Korea, he's a communist, an admitted communist. The war is over with. He returns to Japan, and he runs for city council in the town that he lived in under the Communist Party, and he lost. Ha! <laughs> Good. Some years later, he authors a book. Well, he became a novelist. He writes a book, and the name of the book is My War Crimes. That's it, kids. Detailing the war crimes committed while he was in the Japanese Imperial Army to show you what a bunch of war criminals they were. You understand? And in the book, My War Crimes, he writes about the comfort women issue. How the Japanese Imperial Army tore through the peninsula, just yanking up women, forcing them to become sex slaves and concubines for the Japanese Imperial Army. I got it right here in the book. So the communists put it in the book, and many Koreans said, Hey, here's the proof. You see, you did round up our women and force them to be sex slaves because one of your members of the Imperial Army wrote it in this book. <clears throat> so this communist, some years later, I think it was 1996, he's interviewed. And in the interview, he admits those were lies he wrote in this book. What? <clears throat> I'm shocked. You mean communists tell lies? Nah, I don't believe that. But that's what he said. He said when he put that in the book, it was a lie. So the interviewer asked the liar, well, why did you do that? Now remember, he's a communist. Communism, Marxism, everybody's equal, capitalism is evil. Why, I put those lies in the book, he said. Because there's no profit in telling the truth in a book. See, the communist was looking for a profit. That's the bankruptcy of communism. And all people of that ideology and their gateway ideologies. So are we to believe now that the whole comfort woman issue was fabricated, made up? Oh sure, they were comfort women. But they were recruited as prostitutes. And the fact that they were forced into sexual slavery, well, this person said it's a lie. He said it right there in that interview. Then when he put it in the book, it was a lie. And he lied so the communists could make a profit. What are your thoughts? Please put them in the comment section. Let's hear what you have to say about this communist and his sole reason for lying was profit. And as a result of his desire for a profit, my country is being living with those comfort woman memorials. Comfort woman memorials. All right, folks, we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. <laughs>